this is going to be a discussion of the veins and arteries from like say this hip area up to the uh, top of the abdomen. So I'll start with these veins right here. So this big blue vein right here and this big blue vein over here are your uh, left and right external iliac veins. Now iliac refers to the hip, so the ilium, and you can see that as they return here from that leg and from the hip region, you can see another vein joining them right here. This is the right internal iliac. So external iliac comes back from sort of the legs on the outs on the external part, and this one uh, drains uh, the inner workings of the, the pelvic region. So external and internal iliac veins combine to form the right and left common iliac veins. So when it, whenever you hear the word common, so that common carotid artery from back there, that means that there's going to be a branch. So the common iliac, left common iliac, formed from the left internal iliac and the left external iliac vein. Both of these iliac veins, these common iliac veins, unite here to form this big guy, which is your inferior uh, vena cava. The inferior vena cava is bringing blood all the way back up here, and it's gonna end up going back to the heart and to that right atrium. Let's look at a couple of the other veins along the way. Here are some uh, blue vessels coming back from the kidneys. So this would make this the right renal vein and this the left renal vein. If it's coming back from the spleen, it's the splenic vein. If it's coming back from the uh, liver, it's the hepatic vein. And uh, let's go to the arteries now. So uh, let's go to right where this big aorta comes back into the abdomen. So it's just come down from this uh, thoracic aorta and it comes through the diaphragm into the abdomen. So you could call this then the abdominal aorta. And there's a big kind of a cluster of blood vessels in here. And I'm not gonna test you using this model because they are rather convoluted in here, but there's gonna be some that, will, that I'll discuss on a different, uh, different model. But let's look at the ones we can't see. If it's going off to the kidneys, well, it's the renal arteries, renal and renal. Uh, if it is after this split, it's the left and right common iliac arteries. And then we see the same exact split, right? Where we've got an internal iliac artery and an external iliac artery. Now that external iliac artery, once it gets down into this leg region, becomes the femoral artery. So this is the femoral, because there's the femur, the femoral artery. 